This is the Project Gemini Update, brought to you by Rifical Records. And here's your host, Mark Anthony Hay. Greetings and welcome to episode 110 of the Project Gemini Update. So this may be a long update, so uh, or a longer one, so get yourself a drink or whatever you need to get comfortable and uh, let's proceed. So we're going to be doing a sort of joint update, a little bit of Dark Monarchy stuff along with the Project Gemini stuff. Um, just because it's uh, not, not enough probably to make a whole episode in the Dark Monarchy end of things. So anyways, let's get things started. So, first of all, the Lathe Cut Records. For all you Project Gemini people who pre-ordered the Lathe Cut Record during the pre-order of the Project Gemini in the year 3073 Book 1 album pre-order, um, it's been a long time waiting for this to come, uh, and from what I hear, this week it should be finished. Now, that's what I'm hearing I don't have them yet in my possession, so until I do have them, I'll believe it when I see it. Um, but just to let you know, the rumor is that it should be this week. So once I get them, they will be sent out to you ASAP, so we can get that part of the cycle finished. In fact, that's the last part of the Project Gemini uh, Book 1 cycle as far as the pre-order and everything that came with it of course there's still people who order and you can still order anytime you want uh any of my records on the project gemini Bandcamp site uh, which is probably the best place to go to order okay that's one uh speaking of pre-orders this monday will be the end of the pre-order for the dark monarchy cd that's coming out um uh, if you order before the pre-order is done, because obviously once the pre-order is finished, that doesn't mean you can order a CD. But what you can't do is everybody who is, has bought the CD during the pre-order will receive a special bonus poster that's getting done just for the people who pre-order. So if you have, so if you haven't ordered it yet, um, do so because I'm going to be cutting off the pre-order on Monday maybe Tuesday, depending on when I get this video up. <clears throat> Excuse me, because sometimes my editing takes a little while to do. And if I put the video out on Monday, then you had no chance to order it. So maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday, I'll cut it off. But in any case, you might want to do it rather soon, because once the cutoff is done, then you can order the CD, but you will not get the bonus poster. And once again, uh, the art or the photograph will be done by Stee Holland. Uh, who's done all the artwork for this album and it looks fantastic and uh yeah you really might want to get your hand on the poster so go ahead and pre-order the cd and uh, it will be yours okay sorry i'm keep looking down because i have notes actually, i actually have that much stuff to talk about <clears throat> so speaking of uh the dark monarchy record store day is coming up in august I believe it's either the 27th or 29th. The date is not in my head right now, but it's one of those two days, I believe. And uh, we'll be doing a digital-only release for that day. Um, what we're releasing is a song that did not make the album, not because it wasn't a good song. In fact, it's probably one of our better songs, I think. Uh, just, you know, it just wasn't in the cards. We didn't have enough space for it. So on, you know how it is with me. I like having a 45 minute album or so, and it would have been way over if we would have included the song. So the song is The Surrogate Other. Um, here is the the uh, cover that Steve made for the single. Uh, also, what's going to be included on this single, because I just don't want to include just one song, um, is a fantastic uh, recreation of Fool's Gold that uh, Joe did on piano. And then, of course, I came in and did my guitar stuff and added some backing vocals and stuff like that and uh much like how we did a or much how i did a record store version of one of my songs i believe it was children of hope uh last record store day uh we're gonna do something similar for the dark monarchy and uh instead of this being an acoustic 
thing. This is going to be more of a piano based, uh, not ballady at all. Very kind of dark though. I think you guys, I guess you guys, well, I guess I'm hoping that you guys will like it. Um, yeah, so they, on there, there will be the surrogate other fool's gold piano version. And I will be also including the original version, maybe though in sort of an edit form, sort of like a radio edit version. So you have an even different version of that as well. So that will be available on Record Store Day for you. And uh, you might be seeing the this image around. Um, Steve did a series. Stee did a series of fantastic flag photos with uh, our fantastic model Charlotte and uh, it turned out really nicely so up to record store day I'll be showing different ones in in an effort to uh, promote the record store day release okay so that's the dark monarchy news taken care of so Let's flip over to this. myself have been taken hostage. Current location is unknown. Most likely... Most likely underground. Request immediate transport. Come in, NAS. Come in, NAS Victory. Do you read me? Yes, 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 that was a surprise now, wasn't it? Yes, indeed, book two is underway. Uh, in fact, it's been underway for a little while now. I've been keeping that part of it very, very quiet. Uh, in fact, I started working on book two, I think right around the time I started mastering the Dark Monarchy album. I think I started getting ideas for the songs and I started working on it then, keeping everything quiet because I, I wanted to kind of do this record under the radar a bit. Now, that's not to say that the album is completely done right now um it is you know it's a lot further along than people probably realize um which is a good thing which means that there's not going to be too much more of a wait i don't think to get this finished uh so yeah uh one thing that's going to have to be made note of this is book two as you know book one came out last year um uh, and i was thinking that it was going to be done with book two but no. Even though there are seven songs on this album, um, I found that it was just going to be wrong to end it this quickly because it would, I would have had to compromise the story I felt to, uh, in doing it that way, I would have like, tried to cramp in too much stuff into one record. So there will be a book three, let's just put it that way. 
uh, and book three will resolve it. Don't worry. It's not going to be like I'm going to say, oh, no, there's going to be a book five and seven or whatever. It's only going to be uh, to book three. So it's going to be a proper trilogy. So in uh, the proper fashion of trilogies, book two or the second movie or however you look at it, is always the one that people kind of look at as the one that, you know, will it be as good? It's usually the one that's kind of, you know, the odd one out of the three because you have the kind of introduction and you have the big ending in the middle, you know, what happens there. Well, not this time. In book two, there's going to be a lot going on story-wise. And uh, there's going to be a lot going on as far as uh, the recording and uh, the presentation of it and everything. I'm really going to make a big effort to make this a pretty... Uh, exciting release. Let's just put it that way. I've um, got lots of things in the works already as far as getting some very cool promotional stuff done for it. Some nice, uh, you know, posters and this and that and nice little things to advertise it and hype things up. Um, and I've been noticing one thing that's just, you know, this is not really um, important as far as how I wrote for this record. But I, in kind of uh, discussing with people on the Facebook page and stuff like that, uh, people have been posting when they got their records and stuff like that. And uh, I noticed a few people have also been posting some of the older records. A lot of people are saying that they really loved Ordinary Day. Somebody, some people even said it's their favorite record, which is fantastic. I mean, you know, to have your first album as the one that people really love is, you know, doesn't happen very often. Um, so ironically when as that started coming in these you know bits of news from people talking about these records uh, I was recording at that time and much like how I recorded the first record this new record has some similarities to that uh, I went back to using um, my proper amp uh, situation before for the last couple of records I've been using a lot of amp modeling and stuff like that like my Line 6 pod and stuff like that, and I, and I love those sounds. I mean, I'll, I'll always stand up for that because I think it sounds really good, and I've had nothing but great results with my uh, Line 6 stuff. But I wanted to go back and use a proper tube amp and stuff like that, and I went out and bought a bunch of different pedals and stuff like that um, in hopes of trying to get that... Uh, amp vibe back onto the album because I mean it, it's on an ordinary day that's how we did the first record a combination of the amp and the line sticks and the line six stuff blended together so um I think that's going to be the route this time again well it is the route I've already done all the guitars all the drums are done um all the all the vocals and lyrics are done as far as I've written all the lyrics the story is mapped out and done uh, I did a rough vocal for every song. So uh, the older six of them have vocals. One is an instrumental. Um, and uh, so that's all done. And uh, yeah, lot, there's some keyboards that are done, stuff like that. But there is some stuff that has to be done still. Obviously, the proper vocals I'm going to still do. Keyboards, guitar solos. And, uh, and then that's about it. Because I did the acoustic guitars. I did the clean guitars, the rhythm guitars. All that stuff are all done. And you're wondering maybe why I'm saying nothing about bass guitar. <clears throat> well, yeah, I'm playing bass on the on the record as well. Uh, but this album is going to be very special. Uh, very special because I'm going to have some guest musicians again on this album. And uh, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised this time. Uh, so I, I'm so convinced of it that what I'm going to be doing is over the next four weeks, um, I'll be doing an update every week starting from this one and I'll be revealing who the four guests are and they are all four of them are bass players on this album so yeah uh, I think you're going to be impressed maybe some of you uh, what's going on with this so but let's talk about the uh, first guest that I'm going to reveal so the first guest I'm going to reveal is one that you guys probably know about because he appeared on book one and that's Joe Bailey. Now Joe Bailey is a brilliant bass player. Um, I was so happy with his bass playing on the Dark Monarchy stuff that I, I knew that this time around I wanted to get him on a Project Gemini song to play 
and uh, he appears on one of the epics of the record, an almost 11 minute song on this album. And he did an amazing job on bass. I mean, uh, he played his six string uh, sort of music man bass that he has there. And he also included some fretless bass stuff that sounded really, really cool on this. I mean, it's it's re it really added to the progginess of the song. Um, so I'm really looking forward to having you guys hear it. Um, and on top of that, uh, I needed Joe anyways, whether it was bass playing or not, because uh, he did sing on the, the other record. And because of the way I structured um, some of the characters, I sing because I represent some of the characters in the story and Joe sings to represent some of the other people in the story so it doesn't get confusing, right? So I needed him to sing regardless and we all know how fantastic a singer is, but wait till you hear the bass playing. I mean, if you already heard the Dark Monarchy record, then you already know how brilliant he is a bass player. So on this album, he, he also does a, a fantastic job. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to having you guys check that out. So I will reveal the other three. Needless to say, I think you will like it very much. Uh, maybe just to give you a little bit of a background on here, this there is going to be a mixed bag of like lengths and stuff like that. It is going to be uh, more keyboard in it than maybe the prior stuff, uh, which is something I think people enjoyed about an ordinary day as well. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit more keyboard. It's not going to be all totally keyboard heavy, but that's going to be more than there was maybe on prior albums. Um, yeah, and what else can I say without giving away too much? Um, there's two lengthy songs, one 11 minute, one about nine and a half, almost 10. There's one that's really short, that's like a minute 30, but it all makes sense within the story, obviously. So there's a lot to look forward to. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to revealing more as time goes on, uh, especially revealing the people who are going to be playing on this because they've already done all their performances, the, all the guests. So I have everything in my possession. It's not like, you know, I'm going to reveal them and then suddenly, you know, they uh, I, I don't get them on the record because of some complication or something. No, no. This time around, I wanted to make sure that before I said anything, about anything that I had those aspects covered. So the guest musicians have all done their stuff and given it to me. The only thing I haven't gotten is Joe's vocals, but he's working on that right now and we still have to work out what he sings on some of the other songs. So I'm not worried about Joe because Joe, you know, I talk to him all the time. Uh, it was just some of the other guests that I'm not in regular contact with that I wanted to iron out and get their stuff done right away. So, and they're done. So I can't wait for you guys to hear some of this. I'm really excited about this record. I think that it's going to be um, book one and then some. Let's just put it that way. I think it's going to be really good. Um, I'm really, really making sure that I'm focusing on my source sounds, making sure that everything sounds good long before I even get to mixing. I wanted to make sure that all my tones sound good, the drums sound fantastic, make sure that I really hone in on my guitar sound. You know, it for some of the guitar stuff, it took me a couple of days. I wanted to make sure I tried every kind of mic position on the, my cabinets that I used. And, uh, you know, I'm, as I'm talking here, you probably see I'm putting up pictures of some of the stuff from the sessions that I've done. Uh, but I really wanted to just not just plug into my normal stuff and just go. I wanted to really experiment a little bit more and get some different sounds. Uh, behind me there, you see my double neck uh, guitar, my Epiphone 12 and 6 string. Uh, the 12 string was used quite a bit on a couple songs, actually. No, well, one of them for sure. I think there was a lot of 12 string on it. Probably, uh, if memory serves me correctly, the 11 minute song has some very cool 12 string on it. So shades of Steve Howe and Alex Lifeson, and all those people who like to play double necks, Jimmy Page and stuff like that, but I'm not too much into Jimmy Page, but uh, don't hate me for saying that. Um, but yeah, Steve Howe and Alex Lifeson, those kind of proggy people were definitely a source of inspiration for this. So is that it? According to my notes, yes, it is. Uh, I've touched on all the important things. 
Uh, obviously, you've seen the album cover too. Joe Mc Joe James McCarthy did another fantastic job with it. Um, as always, his covers sort of give you a little, um, maybe a little hint about the story. Uh, there's so much to see in his pictures that you know you could be staring at them for hours and find a new thing you know every couple of minutes that you didn't see before. Uh, so he did a great job. Um, of course. There might be some extras in there. I have not that far yet as far as what the poster is going to be and stuff like that. Uh, as far as the vinyl goes, yes, there will be a vinyl. <clears throat> yes, there will be a CD of this. Uh, you know, I'm always thinking of what to do to make these things a little bit more exciting uh, for you. And as always, I'm trying to give you guys the very, very most for your dollar because I think you guys deserve it. You guys are amazing supporters. And uh, I want to make you guys happy and keep you guys happy. And writing a great record, I think, will make you happy. So let's just leave it at that. Uh, this was a little bit of a longer uh, update than normal, but I think you probably agree that it was worth it. Uh, some interesting things revealed, exciting things to come. And uh, yeah, so I will talk to you guys all very soon. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, over here in Canada. Well, I think in America too, you guys are having a long weekend like we are. So Monday's a holiday. Uh, so I hope you guys are having fun. Be careful out there, social distance. Uh, unfortunately, I'm hearing that a lot of things in the States are getting a little shaky there again as far as the COVID end of things. Please, people, be careful. Let's get this stuff out of here once and for all so we can get back to normal and go to shows again and, you know, come on. We can do it all. Come on. Okay. So I don't want to get into any kind of preaching here. So I'm just going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Um, I'm starting to get a little subscribing here and there happening and some likes. I'm very happy for that. Thank you very much. But if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps the channel. And as we're getting closer to, you know, a release for another record, it would be nice to get some more people in there and uh, get the channel out there for more people to check out. So thank you very much again for your support. And uh, yeah, book two coming your way very soon. And you'll be updated as I'm working on it, just like always. So thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.